Good morning, everybody. This is the Okeanos Explorer. Today we go to a, a suspected shipwreck, about 200 feet long, perhaps 20 feet wide. This is something that's completely unknown. It's only was found on uh, the side scan sonar from an acoustic survey done for a pipeline in 2009. We've come in on our first sonar target of a suspected uh, shipwreck site. We are now getting our first uh, detailed look at it. It's pretty clear that what we're looking at is man-made. We should remember that uh, this part of the Gulf of Mexico is essentially a giant geologic mix master. The fact that we have we have a platy layered appearance here suggests that uh, it isn't necessarily true that this is man-made. All kinds of interesting things come to the surface in the Gulf of Mexico that are geologic, not man-made, that have interesting looking shapes. This actually was reported to us as a potential shipwreck, largely based on the fact that there was nothing similar anywhere in the vicinity that showed up on their survey. Uh, this is looking increasingly like a natural object, though, not, uh, not man-made. Yeah, I, I was able actually to look at some of that. That is a spectacular extrusion. It's very large, and then there's these fracture planes that you know suggest uh, you know some activity after extrusion. So this is a very substantial asphalt volcanic uh, structure. But the the fact that you have two berms around the edges indicates that there there remains some volatile hydrocarbons uh, present, which you know means that it's not totally ancient. That this is a, a somewhat recent feature. Jack, our lead archaeologist today, has said archaeologists find cool things even if they aren't all shipwrecks. Uh, I'm not going to dispute that. This is pretty cool. Now that's some good footage on those particles. Thanks for that. We can identify those pretty well. There is another seafloor positive feature a couple of hundred feet away that we're going to look at next. This one, uh, this in quote flower, looks a lot different than the first one likely been at the seafloor for hundreds if not thousands of years but they're still seeing uh, we're still seeing evidence for uh, for activity associated with the initial extrusion of the asphalt it looks like they're frozen over mm -hmm. yep so um, I think we are seeing our first uh, visual evidence for uh, escape of hydrocarbons here other than the uh, obvious evidence for the asphalt we see there's actually two there. Very good call, a very short good one call. And a tall one. So we're seeing multiple lines of evidence that we are getting uh, chemosynthetic uh, biology associated with what must continue to be uh, streams of uh, hydrocarbons to the seafloor. Must be tremendous forces involved to you know to push this much uh, asphalt through and and. Um, so, but that's not well understood. So, any, any you know uh, mapping or, or volume estimates that you're able to make, I think, going to be a real contribution. We've been talking about photo mosaicing these um, oh, flowers, for want of a better term. We think we can do it in uh, several passes over the tops of these features. I concur on the photo mosaic, absolutely critical to do that because that'll give you the aerial extent and probably some notion of volume. The great thing about today is that we came down here thinking that these structures might be parts of a shipwreck. It's pretty clear that they are not now, but that they're naturally occurring. <laughs> 